Before we begin setting up Firebase Cloud Functions, I'd like to suggest you visit Firebase Cloud Functions documentation page to learn what Cloud Functions are and what can you do with them. So uh, let me show you how to find it. Open a new browser window firebase.google.com and then go to Docs section. Then click on Getting Started for iOS. And under the left side in Navigation menu, you will see Cloud Functions here. So open it up. And here you have introduction sections and then what can I do with cloud functions. If you click here, you can learn what cloud functions are and then what can you do with them. And this page lists different use cases that will give you a very good understanding of what you can do with cloud functions and maybe trigger some ideas that are very specific for your project. And if you go to introduction section, you'll have a short video here that will introduce you to the cloud functions. And in short, cloud function is a code that you write. And you write this code on your computer, but then it runs not on your computer, but in Google Cloud. And to run this code, you do not need to deploy a new server in Google Cloud and then, and then manage it or monitor its performance. You will write a simple JavaScript function and you can do it in your favorite JavaScript editor. And then you will deploy this JavaScript function to Google Cloud with a very simple command. And then this function will just run for you there in Google Cloud. But these JavaScript functions can be very, very powerful because they have access to different Firebase services like, for example, Firebase Storage or Real-Time Database. With Firebase Cloud Functions, you can design your own RESTful Web Service API, for example, and then have it accept HTTP request with query parameters and then have them read data from database and then send back a response to your mobile application as a JSON payload. You can make these functions read data from database and then send push notifications to your users, for example. So scroll down the page with different use cases and see how those use cases can be applied to your project. And I'm very sure you will have your own ideas how cloud functions can be used in your project. In my following videos, I'll show you how to use cloud functions to listen for image uploads. And then as soon as a new image gets uploaded, and in our case, it will be an original size image of user profile, Cloud Function will then take this original image and it will generate for it a thumbnail image. And we will use this image in our mobile application to display user image profile. And I do it because loading original size of user profile image every time we need to display it to user, it's very costly for users because it consumes much of their data plan and makes our mobile app looks like it's working slow. So let's continue to our next video and learn how to set up Firebase Cloud Functions.